Hello and welcome back to Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you the three simple projects that you can make with using a 9 volt battery. Let's get started. First, I'm going to go and take the 9 volt battery and the solder flux. Scoop out a generous amount of solder flux and place it on the connectors of the 9 volt battery. Next, take a 1k ohm resistor, solder 10 one of the leads. And now solder tin, the positive terminal of the 9 volt battery. Next, solder the 1k ohm resistor to the positive terminal of the 9 volt battery. And now you can take an LED, take the cathode and place it on the negative, and connect the 1k ohm resistor to the LED. And there, a very simple LED tester. And there, now you can identify different color of LEDs and to see if an LED works. First, I'm going to take a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery connector that came from an old 9 volt battery, and a jumper wire. First, I'm going to start attending the 9 volt battery clip. Next, take the jumper wire, hold the two connections together, and I'll take a wire cutter. Stretch it so that we can find the middle and cut it. Remove the insulation and now solder it over to the 9 volt battery clip. Just like that. And there, this part is now complete. And there, the project is now complete. Plug it into the 9 volt battery. Next, I'm going to take a permanent marker and blacken this wire so that way I know that this wire is negative. And now, let's go ahead and test it out. I have right here an Arduino Uno. And I'll take the negative wire and connect it to ground. And then take the positive wire and connect it to VIN, or voltage input. And there, the Arduino Uno works. And as you can see, I can also use this device to power a breadboard. Plug it into the positive and negative rail. And now I'm going to create a simple circuit. And there, as you can see, it works. This device is very useful to power a breadboard or any other prototyping devices. The items you're going to need is a 9 volt battery, a slide switch, a 9 volt battery clip, some wires, and a vibrating DC motor. First, I'm going to take some hot glue and place it onto the 9 volt battery. Take the vibrating DC motor and place it onto the 9 volt battery. Glue it into place. Next, take some hot glue and put it on the vibrating DC motor and glue down the slide switch. And now take the 9 volt battery clip, connect it to the 9 volt battery, bend the wires over, and then take the positive from the 9 volt battery clip and solder it to the slide switch. And I'll take this positive wire and solder it to the second pin of the slide switch. And then take that wire and solder it to the positive terminal of the vibrating DC motor. And then take the negative wire and solder it to the negative terminal of the vibrating DC motor. And there, the circuit is now complete. Turn it on, and as you can see, it works. Next, I'm going to take this thick copper gauge wires. Place it right here on the 9 volt battery. Figure out where the center is. And then bend the wires, measuring the same width as the 9 volt battery. And then do the same thing with the second wire. And then take some pliers and bend little feet on the wires. And there, two identical wires, which is basically four legs. Next, take some hot glue and glue it to the 9 volt battery. Take these wires and glue them into place. Add some more hot glue to glue them into place better. Next, what you need to do is adjust the legs so that way they're nice and even. So then that way this robot can be more balanced. And now it's time to test it out. 
place it right here. Flip the switch. And whoa, that goes really fast. Much faster than I anticipated. Huh, that's really cool. Okay, so now you go ahead and turn on the switch. Step back a little bit. This is actually very powerful. Place it right here, turn on the switch, and it'll move. Now you know how to make three simple projects with using a 9 volt battery. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.